of a better place to recharge and whoa, ready whoa, ourselves whoa, calm for down there. Mission. Calm down. I'm cutting you off the, from the coffee on board the ship. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, stand by for liftoff. All right, so according to what we have accomplished so far, our next stop should be, I think it's Procyon. Procyon. Here we go. Oh, this looks like this is going to be quite the jump. All right. Stand by. Pro Cyan, here we come. Let's hope we don't run into this planet on the way. Nice. All right, Procyon A. Fine. You know what, Robin? Fine. You win. I'll ask this random stranger in the depths of space if they know how to get where we're going better than I do. Unknown ship, you read me? That's because we did jump past it. Hailing Robin, frequencies are open. Go can ahead. you go five minutes without interrupting me? Maybe if you listen to me every once in a while, I wouldn't have to interrupt you. I'm in a hurry. Let's skip the drama. I'm with you. Unlike some people. Oh, so now I'm the dramatic one. Oh, you've got some nerve. <laughs> Do you know the way or not? The sooner we get off this ship, the better. Yeah, I, I don't know where you're trying to go, so I, I have no idea. Oh, great. Thanks for nothing, pal. Uh, oh, you're welcome. John, that's no way to treat a stranger. You like, how, how did yourself. I get in the middle of uh, all this? I'm never where, where are you supposed to be going? Thanks what are you looking for? Make your way. All right, goodbye. Let's see if we can't get through these asteroids and get a better view of the planet. So it looks like we're headed to that occupied cave. Oh, apparently. 
certainly I cannot land here at this cave. All right. Well, now that we've got that confusion out of the way, let's go. you in the jump seat. All right, Sarah. I say we uh, get a nap before we hit the road. Well, hey there. Nice long rest, eh? Yes, I hope you got one too. All right, it's time to get out here and explore. So, apparently, the atmosphere is breathable. You know, I do not like the look, look at that. Look at those creatures over there. I don't like the look of this. All right, so where is that cave? Is that... There's the industrial out... Post. All kind of stuff here. Yep, there's the cave. This a, a coral bug. Is it gonna attack us? Either they're dead or they're immune. All right, let's see. You know, here's the problem with trying to level up my fitness. I have all these bonuses for oxygen when I'm on the ground on planets. when I'm with somebody. Don't rush the scan. I don't want to overlook anything valuable. I just realized that you have to press a button to do the scan. It doesn't scan automatically. That's ridiculous. No wonder. You gotta learn stuff as you go.
Thank you, Sarah. What is... Find the artifact. I thought we needed to go to this cave over here. do I have to be to, to do these scans? I don't need to scan that then, huh? There's another one. Okay, so let's head over here then to this other marker.
Alright, well, I think I would need to find something else a little less deadly. I mean, what, what are these things? People here. Mmm, smell those lovely industrial fumes. Oh, disgusting. Hello? Am I ever glad to see you? We need your help. Crimson Fleet pirates have been giving us a hard time. If they show up, they never leave without stealing something we need. Think you could take them out? We can't take much more of this. They're not far. Sure, the Crimson Fleet is a menace. Consider it done. Thank you so much. Please be careful. Thank you. What's this? Oh, it's... Why do I have a feeling that we're not even on the right planet? Shields up, seals tight. I don't know why everyone's so down on this job. Construction work pays great. Oh, here they are. Look out. Get out of here. Turn around and leave. Now. Is that it? That can't be all. Oh, wait, there's a door over here. Hmm. Or not a door. Oh, here's the door. Sarah, you're always getting into trouble. Where is he? Damn it! Totally lost. 
Oh, through here. Don't think we've cleared them all out. Hmm, a calibrated kraken. That's better than the the regular one. We should have a talk, when you have the time. Oh, course. another talk? I hey. thought we were done. All right, Remember what? our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. You never mentioned your predecessor to me before. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. <laughs> Aja. Aja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Well, I feel like we're making some good memories of our own. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. Different times. I'm sure. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé. Hmm, the rookie being paired with the chair sounds awfully familiar. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? <laughs> at any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Hmm, okay. Cozy isolation. Yeah, you know, B 
being alone in interstellar space. Nothing but light years of black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it... comfortable. It helps me bond with my shipmates. All right, well... <laughs> I take it I'm your protege on this journey. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I... miss her dearly. Sounds like you two were in love. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend. But we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit, and I could make proper introductions. Hmm. Well, I'll do the best I can to make our journeys just as pleasant. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, <laughs> that's what intrigues me about you. All right. I'd like to discover more about what we have right here. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I... I, I, I have to go. All right, well... I guess no more conversations for now. All right, so we've checked out these ammo cases. I'm hoping that all the pirates are dead for you stopping and holding a conversation with me. Sushi rolls. Can I eat those now? said that. Still someone here. Thank you. 
useful. I did. All right, I think we can leave. I have something for you when you have a moment. I'm almost worried as to find out what it is, but I know you'll keep hounding me if I don't speak to you about whatever this is. So what you got for me? Here. I have something for you. Um... You don't have to give me anything. Eh, it's not that big of a deal. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. Alright, well... <laughs> Next time, I expect this to be gift-wrapped. <laughs> sure, sure. And I'll include a thank you card as well. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. Very nice. Ornamental sap. <laughs> all right, well... Let's see if we can't at least get to, uh, the right planet this time. Stand by for liftoff. So we've explored those two areas. So it has to be this cave. That I can't land on. Or near. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's land. seeing, this world has all the essential building blocks to support life. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so we were in the wrong area. Let's see if we can't get to the right spot this time. this I can't actually read this ship repair fundamentals I mean that would be something useful but there's nothing to read okay come on this way Sarah Oh. 
Oh. I might need my helmet. Why isn't it on? I have a ma uh, an affliction. Take the correspondent remedy to cure it. Go to my inventory and look for aid. All right, so how do I... Lung damage. Okay, that's what I've got. Frostbite. Persuasion. So it looks like I don't have anything. stable but I how, you know what I'm not even gonna so we do have some leveling up I think I got something in ballistics yes so ballistic weapons do 30% more damage take that Fuel regenerates more quickly. I'm, I'm putting my helmet on too. supposed to be on. Alright, let's go. Frontier attire. Okay, the amp boosts leg strength. 
Okay, so this is what I needed. Okay, I can cure an affliction. Oh boy. I hope this is gonna be obvious. What was it? It was the injector. So treats brain injury, concussion, heat stroke, hernia, hypothermia, lung damage. Okay, so it's in the description. Uh, take it. I'm also going to take a med pack. I think I have plenty. That's it then. Oh, here's more. All right, Sarah. Oh, here's more over here too. Metric incursion. different a little bit more detailed I'm listening that's it you're not even gonna react to what just happened do you mind if I ask you some personal questions not at all do you have any religious beliefs my parents considered themselves to be enlightened but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs by the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. 
Having been out there, in the Starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. <laughs> okay, you don't even know what they are. That's all for now. I'll be here. Mm-hmm. Talk to you later. All right, we need to get back to the ship. Captain on deck. All right, thank you. All right, prepare for liftoff. Stand by for grab jump. safely. Now let's join this artifact with the others. I can't think of a better place to recharge and oh, ready whoa, ourselves for our Oh, calm down there. Station. Calm down. I'm cutting you off the, from the coffee on board the ship. Andresia, I am at your service, Captain. Worry. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Yes, we did. It's good to have you back. All right, here we go. Two more pieces. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? They're embedded in a rock? Or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? <laughs> yeah, we got you beat. Three artifacts to your zero. I wasn't aware we were competing, but game on. Absolutely. Oh no, don't you two start. We're supposed oh, yeah. to be working together, it's already not started. Competing. What's wrong with a little rivalry here and there? I think it pushes us to be at our best. Or causes nothing but arguments. No, or arguments which the then breed artifacts. distrust. Noel is right, Matteo. Oh boy. Well, I suppose there was that one time, and then the other. Mm, what do you think? A little competition can't be that bad, can it? Well, you know, I'm at my best when somebody else is trying their hardest to win. Exactly. We're all friends here. Why shouldn't we want to bring out the best in each other? The best shouting, you mean? The halls of the Lodge echo, you know? I'm siding with Matteo on this one as well. I find that a little competition is the spark people need to push themselves to achieve their goals. 
You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad to be home. Yes. So am I. Let me know if you need me. Noel. Okay. Pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. Oh, so we didn't get to see a light show? Hmm, that's too bad. All right, well, I'm going to get some rest and then I'll head out to the eye. I hope you are satisfied a little bit later. With the quarters available to you.